Welcome everyone to our rock stars mega class. This is so exciting. This is a collaborative cooking class that our rock stars team does every single month. And in September, we are focused on back to school. And even if you don't have little kids going back to school, I feel like this time of year, everyone is kind of getting back on track. Um, getting out of that lazy laid back summer schedule, which of course we all love, but let's get back to reality. So we've got some great new recipes to share with you and some new products this month, which is so exciting. So the way that these mega classes work is we have three recipes to share with you, lots of tips and tricks along the way. And stay tuned. If you don't already have the recipes, the consultant that invited you has them and we'll give them to you. So just reach out to him or her and they'll get them to you. And then at the end, we're going to do some raffles, which is always really exciting. We always have some fun winners. And so definitely you have to be present to win the raffles. So the prizes, so stay on till the very, very end. So you don't miss that. We'll also go over the new September specials um, as well. So feel free, ask questions, um, when the presenters are in the middle of presenting, it's always better if you type the question in the chat box, but feel free to interrupt me at any point and ask questions if you would like, because I know sometimes uh, people can't figure out that chat box. So I am so excited tonight. Um, we did just return home from Michigan, where we had our annual convention, which we call Bonvention. And we had a lot of our rock stars recognized for their achievements. And the three ladies presenting tonight all had some great recognition. Um, they are all very deserving of. And our first presenter is her first time presenting on our mega class, but she is a pro. So you are going in for a real treat. Uh, Lauren Toppleson is amazing uh, rock star coming to you from Texas. And this girl is on fire. So watch out. She is one of our newest team leaders, and I am going to turn it over to her right now. Lauren, go take it away. Thank you, Teresa. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm super excited to be here. As she said, it's my first time, so I'm really happy that I can be a part of all this. And I'm excited about presenting this uh, recipe for you because I'm hungry. <laughs> I had a really busy day and went back to work. And so this recipe is perfect for those of you that are busy. Um, you've got a busy life. And so what's wonderful about this is that you can prep this the night before, which is what I did. Um, the chicken apple sausage comes already pre-cooked. I'm making a chicken apple sausage with roasted seasonal vegetables. And you can have a healthy and delicious dinner ready for your family in 30 minutes. So that's what's really important because at the end of the day, you just wanna gather around the table, be with one another, and that's what Bon Cook is all about, just gathering around the table with the people that you love. So let's talk about this chicken apple sausage recipe with seasonal vegetables. I'm going to get into the fall spirit of things because it's just around the corner, um, though it's still really hot here in Texas. And I'm gonna use some of my favorite root vegetables. I've got um, Brussels sprouts, I've got red beets, sweet potatoes, some red onions, and some carrots that I pre cooked, uh, sorry, pre a cut last night. But you wanna make sure um, when you're using different vegetables to keep a couple things in mind, two tips that I can offer you. One, not all vegetables cook at the same time. So a zucchini or a summer squash, that's gonna cook a lot faster than your sweet potato or than your beets. So it's great to have them together. I love that combination. And what you'll need to do though, is just get those um, root vegetables into the oven first. And then later on in your cooking process, then go ahead and add like that zucchini and that summer squash, just so everything roasts and gets caramelized um, together at the same time. And also if you watch those cooking shows, you know, they're always yelling at everybody that their knife skills have to be good and everything has to be cut in a uniform manner. And that is because you don't want this tiny carrot mixing with this gigantic Brussels sprout. They're never gonna cook evenly at the same time. So you wanna make sure you use a good knife, which I recommend our Santoku knife. We have tons and tons of Bon Cook items in our home. My husband loves this knife. This is his favorite thing that we have. So I'm just going to carefully just cut a couple of extra carrots. And I just wanna make sure again that I kind of match my Brussels sprouts to match it. I would say, you know, you can cut it probably in quarters. And again, the idea behind this is just that everything wants to cook evenly at the same time. So I'm going to add all of this into our stainless steel mixing bowl. I love this bowl. I know you're gonna hear me say that a lot. I love this, I love that, but it's so true. 
This bowl has a flat bottom, which is really convenient, and this handle. And you don't realize how much you need a handle until you're working with a bowl that does not have a handle. <laughs> so I have all my vegetables in here. Look how beautiful and colorful and gorgeous that is. To this, I'm going to add some of our French pantry oils. Now we have so many different ones that you can choose from, but I'm kind of in the mood tonight for like a Tuscan flair. And this one is our Tuscan herb. It has some rosemary oil, some basil oil, and a little bit of garlic. So I'm just going to add, let me say two to three tablespoons. I'm going to go with three because I love it so much. And then of course, every recipe needs a little s &P, a little salt and pepper. So I'm going to add some of our lavender salt. Now we have three different salts. We have the celery salt, great everyday table salt, our truffle salt. Oh my gosh, truffle fries to die for. And then my favorite, and you're gonna hear me say that a lot too, because I have definite favorites. This is our lavender salt. This is delicious. And I put this on everything. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of turns. And then of course, gotta have some grated fresh ground pepper. This is our pep rally pepper mill. I mean, how cute is this? This is a big conversation starter. People come over and they're like, what is that? I'm like, it's our pep rally pepper mill. It has um, five different peppers from all over the world. And believe it or not, they do have different tastes. They do have different aromas. And you can just take this off and mix and match. Um, the top part here has the grinder and you can change it to be a uh, fine or coarse. So I'm using the telecherry. I'm gonna give it a couple turns. I love our French pantry items. I'm telling you, they really, really take your food to the next level. I'm just gonna give it a little stir using our spatula. I'm gonna make sure that all of the vegetables are coated evenly and the oil and the salt and the pepper. And then I'm gonna put it into our large round mold. I have two workhorses in my kitchen. One is the Flexi Pat, which I will show you, and the large round mold. I kid you not, I use these probably four or five times a week, whether it's in the oven or in the microwave or in the freezer, definitely my two favorites. And you always wanna put this on a perforated baking sheet. Oh, I should tell you, keep this in mind because this is in our business kit that Teresa's gonna talk about later. So large round mold on the medium perforated baking sheet. I'm sure you'll hear Dana say this from time to time. The order's not complete without the perforated sheet. So I'm just gonna put all these gorgeous vegetables into my large round mold. And I'm gonna pop it into the oven at 400. I preheated my oven to 400 for about 10 minutes. I'm actually gonna put this over here for now. And after about 10 minutes, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna use my heat resistant spatula. This is our signature red spatula. And I'm gonna just toss them up. And then I'll put on there the chicken apple sausage that I sliced again evenly, put it on top for about another 20 minutes, let it get all caramelized and delicious. And of course, you know, the miracle of television. Hold on a second, I've got something for you. Ta-da! How beautiful is that? Is that not gorgeous? This is my sweet potatoes, my roasted beets, Brussels sprouts, carrots and onions, and the chicken apple sausage. Again, this is my workhorse. This is the medium perforated baking sheet and the flexi pat. Use this all the time. Now, of course, this is absolutely delicious as is, but I want to talk about our French pantry again, because we have so many beautiful French pantry items. And the beauty of this is, is that it elevates the flavor profile of whatever you're cooking. We're not looking to take over, you know, the, the taste of what you're cooking. We just want to add a little extra flavor to it. And if you haven't tried any of our balsamics, I I suggest that you give it a try because when you add a little bit of this um, to your dishes, your vegetables, your pastas, everything, your meats, everything will just taste amazing. And you can tell again, lots of my favorites tonight. This bottle is almost empty. This is the citrus spice balsamic vinegar. So I'm just going to add about, I don't know, two tablespoons to this. It's syrupy. It's delicious. Um, everybody absolutely loves it. I go through this. Well, there goes another bottle. I know what I'm watering tonight. <laughs> and I'm going to give it a toss. And I know that this will taste delicious. 
Um, the beauty also about this is that, you know, there's a lot here. So I see a frittata in my future. I see lunch tomorrow in my future. I may even see if I can get a quiche out of this. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing this delicious uh, chicken apple sausage with seasonally roast vegetables. And of course you can use whatever vegetables your family loves. Get together, sit around the table, enjoy one another's company because that is the beauty of Bob Cook. That is what we are all about. Have a wonderful night. Enjoy the rest. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing, Lauren. Thank you so much amazing. for sharing. Oh my gosh. So hungry. That looks so good. <laughs> I'll be right over. Come on. Right, me too, Dana. <laughs> okay. Hey. Take it I'm away, Dana. And I am sharing with you today taco cups. And I'm so excited about these because what we learned at our Bonvention is that so many people are struggling with meal planning and meal prepping. This is a taco cup that you can batch cook or batch prep on the weekend and enjoy them all week long or have them in your freezer to pop in the oven. And um, I'm so excited because I get to use a few of my favorite things too. And I'm using the same mold that Lauren used, the large round mold, but instead of being on her fray baking sheet, it's on a microwave safe plate because we are gonna use this large round mold with the octagonal bond mat as our lid to make our ground beef. And actually today, the hubs and I are trying to be more plant-based. So I'm using impossible meat. So it cooks exactly the way ground beef does. It's just, I have, I'm doing a half a batch because I already did another half a batch to show you the finished product. But so there's a half a pound. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Eco Chop to chop my onion. Now, if you have not seen our Eco Chop in action, Prepare to be amazed because you get your arm workout, you chop your vegetables, <laughs> make guac all in one. So here we go. Um, I've got some beautiful Spanish onion. I love that sweet flavor. And here we go. Get your arm workout, ladies. Ready to go. So that was about 10 shots. And little fun fact, um, every time you pull, it's six rotations. So 60 rotations later, you've got perfectly chopped onion. I'm just going to put that right over the meat using our awesome um, heat resistant spatula that Lauren used earlier. I'm just going to put it right on the top with all those yummy juices as well. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's people cutting grass in the background, so I apologize. They didn't, they didn't get the memo. Okay, so that goes like that, covered with your octagonal bond mat and into the microwave for five minutes. You can't hear anything, Dana, so don't worry. It's all good. Okay. Okay, five minutes. Now, in the meantime, we are going to use OMG, one of our brand new products that were, were released at Bonvention, our graduated roll pack. So, you know, if you've seen me or any of the other gals on tonight, we always use our roll pack. It's that, that surface that sticks to your counter. Nothing sticks to it. Beautiful for rolling out doughs. I'm going to be doing that in a second. Beautiful just kitchen workspace. Keeps that control of that mess. Get messy, bring it over here, rinse it off. But now it's got circles and it's got measurements. So you're gonna see me use this now to make the most perfect squares. So tonight I'm using for our taco cups and it's already popped. And that's kind of how I feel, you know? <laughs> this is how I feel right now. Um, I'm using crescent dough. You could use um, wonton wrappers for a crispier taco cup, but I love using this. And I'm just going to roll it out of my roll pack. It already popped, so you didn't have to see me scream a little bit because I always kind of get scared when I have to pop my dough. Okay, so let's find the end, and it's right here. And I'm going to use my graduated roll pack. Look how easy these are to just prep, prep, and just get ready. So I'm going to use the top of my grid here and just kind of go like so. All I'm really doing here is just I'm put, I'm going to roll it a little bit with my beechwood rolling pin to kind of get those seams together. So I'm just kind of laying it out like so. And I'm going to use my beechwood rolling pin. Love this. It's a French rolling pin. Doesn't have those handles like your grandma's had. You got a lot more control with it. So I'm just going to roll it back and forth a little bit to kind of put push those seams together. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the num the numeric. Um, grid to make perfect squares. Sometimes you have to kind of cheat a little bit and just use your hands. You can also use your black um, cake server knife, which is another one of our new products. We have a new product trio that Teresa's going to go over. 
that special ends at midnight tonight. So definitely jump on that for all of our new products. Okay, so we have this little rectangle. I'm gonna roll it a little more to get those seams to fill in. And then what you wanna do, this recipe makes 12 taco cups. So you wanna do 12 little squares equal squares. So the way you do that. So I have 24 inches along the side, divide by three is eight. So I find the eight, go like so. Find the 16, go like so. And then I'm gonna do four equal one. So right in the middle, right in the middle, right in the middle. Voila, how easy was that? I love it, love it, love it, love it. Now I'm gonna use our Keep It Classic special, a little sneak peek there. It is our classic muffin tray. Like Lauren said, on your perforated baking sheet, your order's not complete without the sheet. Definitely add that medium bond mat because that can not only be um, your non-stick cookie sheet when used on your medium perforated baking sheet, but look what a great lid that ends up being. Love it. Now this is our flexi pan material. It's that beautiful marriage of a woven glass core. You can see that texture through there. That's the woven glass. That's what conducts the heat, cooks your food. Then it's dipped in food grade silicone, making it all non-stick with easy cleanup. So you're gonna see like melted cheese just flakes right off, no problem. So I'm just gonna do a few of these for you right now. I have my little setup right here. I'm gonna take a square and put it right into the well and form a little cup. And this is really for giving dough, this crescent dough. And you can just form a little cup just like that. See how beautifully and easily that made that little cup? I'm gonna do a few more just to show you how they go. And sometimes you need to just cut a little bit more, like so. All right, like I said, we could do wonton cups here. Um, you could probably do little tortillas if you wanted to, but I love how buttery and crispy and yummy that crescent dough is. You could probably be bougie and use like um, uh, some sort of a, um, like, um, what am I thinking of? Um, pastry and do it that way. Okay, so here's number four. That meat's still cooking, which is perfect timing for this. Do another one. Puff pastry, that's what I was thinking of. You could do puff pastry and they'd be a little more bougie if you wanted to be a little bougie. Um, okay, so there's number five. And I will show you these when I'm done. And the hubs is just off camera, just excited for his taco cups. There's our meat just on cue. But look, it took me about five minutes to do these. How awesome is that? And if some of the seams start to show, no problem. You're gonna fill it in. So there's your taco cups ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and um, move these over for another time so that I can use this as my workspace. Got six more to go. We'll do those a little bit later. Come over here. Okay, let's get that meat, shall we? Now you always want to open away from your face so you don't get that ground beef facial. And I'm going to use my cake server knife, just like so. Look at all that steam coming out. Beautifully done. I'm going to grab that heat resistant. And all you want to do is you want to add your herb blend. Now we're adding zesty Mediterranean our family favorite, and um, our roasted garlic and chive, another favorite, but check these out. If you have not seen these before, they're more like a loose tea than they are like the spices and herbs that you're used to getting in the American grocery stores. Definitely check these out. So I've got my zesty Mediterranean going in, and I love these little pinch bowls. They're part of a special that we have going on, just like so. That's our roasted garlic and chive. Once again, like Lauren was talking about, I'm using our cell gray, the natural flavor. And I went ahead and ground it ahead of time. Okay, now all you do is you just break it up, mix it together. And you just want it to be nice and combined with that onion. It's perfectly cooked. Now keep in mind, this is gonna go back in the oven for a few minutes. So you don't want it to be overdone. You definitely want it to be almost there. Um, and then just keep breaking it up. And then I'm gonna use my quarter cup uh, ice cream scoop. And I learned that trick. I have a good friend in Lake Oswego that won Cupcake Wars three times 
Shout out to Kira's Bake Shop in Lake Oswego, but she always used a quarter cup ice cream scoop to fill her cupcake wells. Of course, she loved Bon Cook products, but she used the professional version. Okay, so that looks good to me. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so delicious. It's still nice and moist. And then we're going to use our ice cream scoop. You can find these on Amazon or at your local store. And I'm gonna take my scoop and I'm gonna fill one quarter cup into each of these wells. Kids can help you with this. This is a great weeknight meal. It's, like I said, great for batch prepping. The hubs can't wait. And then I made a little guacamole just to go on top. Definitely reach out to the consultant that invited you for that recipe. We have a great guacamole in our eco chop. Okay. And this is going to be, like I said, this is a half a batch. Um, if you do the full recipe, it will fill up your entire plastic muffin tray. Okay. So there's that. Easy peasy. Oh, and I realized I forgot to grab my cheese. I'll be right back. I'm grabbing it on my fridge. Always something we forget, no matter how prepared we are, right, Dana? <laughs> um, we love the Soma. I'm just going to put a nice pinch on each one, and I can be messy if I want because that cheese will flake right off. Just like so. A couple more. All right. One last one. Can never have too much cheese, right? A little more on that one. Okay, and then these go into a 400 degree oven for 13 to 16 minutes. And if by magic, we'll put this one in. And this one, this one's done. So look at how golden brown those are. It's cool enough for me to pop them out. You wanna let them sit for about 10 minutes before you pop them out, but check it out. You just push up from the bottom Look at how adorable that is. Perfectly golden brown. This, my friends, is your quote unquote dirty pan. There's hardly anything in it. I could just bake in it again without washing it. Okay, so we're gonna plate up a couple of these because the hubs is chopping at the bit. Okay, so <laughs> pop up from the bottom. Looks so cute. We've got some guacamole that I made ahead of time. Definitely ask the consultant that uh, sent you here for the recipe for that. We're gonna put a little guacamole on the top. You could use whatever taco um, toppings you like, shredded lettuce. We're gonna do a little guac. We're gonna do a little bit of chopped tomato. Of course, I use my Santoku chef's knife, like Lauren showed you for my tomatoes. You could put sour cream on here. Of course, the hubs will put a lot more hot sauce and probably fresh jalapenos because he just loves it. He likes it hot. Okay, and look at how adorable those are. Do not, don't those look just so cute? And wouldn't you love it? Perfect weeknight meal, lunch, brunch, and great batch prep and meal prep. So I will send it off to Steph. Awesome. Dana, those are amazing. My family loves those. The kids go crazy for them. And one of their favorite things is they can kind of mix it up however they want. Sometimes they'll add corn to it. Sometimes they'll add um, black beans to it. Like you guys can get really creative and because it's those little wells, you get the opportunity to mix and match. So I love it. Uh, Lauren, your dish was a staple and is a staple at my house too. Also love it. Great job, you guys. I'm sliding in with some dessert because that's what I'm all about. Um, you guys might not have seen our beautiful twin tray. Also new um, along with our roll pat. You guys saw this and our black cake server knife. I'm going to build, um, sorry about the rainbow on my face. Clearly it's sunny here in Pacific Northwest. Woohoo! Um, I'm gonna build the most fabulous, easiest, de most delicious um, dessert. But it honestly, you guys, it really can be used for breakfast. It can be used for snacks. Um, I love this recipe. Anytime I'm bringing something to somebody's house or somebody had a new baby or whatever, but the tray makes it just so much better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out our, um, pumpkin spice bread mix. Now I made these ahead of time. They are totally fine. If you want to make them, you know, I could have made them last night. Great today. I made them today earlier this morning when my kids went to school because they're back in school. And, um, 
of course I didn't prep the pan. I just poured this batter right in here and it's the easiest, you know, the simplest recipe. Don't worry. If you don't already have that packet, we'll send it along. Make sure you check in with the person who invited you. And just like anything else, um, they pop right out. So the way that I do it is I just turn it upside down like that. And I kind of release the sides of it. This is how I do it. If I'm doing a cake, if I have something in, you know, the sunflower mold or some other, the daisy mold or, or something like that. And I just pop it out just like that. You guys see that? Look at how cute that is. I know, so cute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually turn it over like this. Now this is my prep space, my workspace right here, right here on the graduated cylinder. I love it because it has these circles, you guys. And how can you say no to that, right? Um, you can easily use your cake server knife to trim off the top just a little bit to make it so it's super flat because I'm going to combine these flat surfaces and make a really adorable um, pumpkin out of them. But because I'm using this for the frosting, I'm going to use our Santoku, which you guys have all heard about for the actual um, trimming. And you guys, you don't need a lot here. Okay. All we're doing is we're just taking off that crown a little bit. Um, now, typically, you wouldn't need to do that, but because I'm going to stack it, that will be saved for later while my kids are at practice. Um, beautiful as can be, right? And I'm going to put it right on top of my tray, just like that, or my mold, just like that. My little, uh, my beautiful little serving platter, I should say. Cheesecake, I mean, cream cheese frosting. Now, of course, you guys can do however you want. You can put Buttercream frosting, you can have no frosting in between if you want. I'm all about the frosting and so are my kids. So here we are. Um, only need, I put, I put more than you really need because again, all about the frosting. Um, you don't need a ton. Um, any cheesecake, cream cheese frosting with recipe will do fine. If you are like, I do not make my own cream cheese, cream cheese frosting. You know what guys, that's totally fine. There is no judgment. If you want to buy it, you can, but I'll tell you, it's really easy to make. So don't, don't write it off just because you're worried about it. Okay, so I'm coming in with the other one. Same thing, right? I'm just going to turn it and pop it out and um, just release the edges just like I did before. But that's on this other side now. Now, this twin tray, I filled this about halfway full um, because I knew I'm going to do this with it. If I wanted just to serve them, upside down so you can see that really pretty design. I totally could have done that and pops right out. Beautiful. Didn't even have to worry about that. I could totally serve it like this. And of course that's beautiful. I could drizzle some chocolate ganache on there. I could put some, you know, whatever delicious on there, but you can see it's pretty thin, right? Because I'm going to use it for something like this. If I were not, I would have filled it up a little bit more, but I filled it up halfway. And um, I'm gonna take that fabulous Santoku knife. Again, Lauren said this is her husband's favorite piece. And at first it was my husband's favorite piece too. Don't get me wrong. He still loves this thing as do I. It's really the only knife you need, but um, he's gotten used to the, the actual flexible cookware bakeware products that we really specialize in. It's only been 10 years. Men, sorry if there's any men, men on this. Um, and then what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm just going to put it on just like that. I'm kind of going to line it up. I'm not overly concerned because, I mean, look at how cute and adorable that is. It's kind of like a sandwich, isn't it? And if I really wanted it super flat so there was no little space in there, which I kind of like, but if you want it super flat so there's no space, you would trim even more off of it so it's flat all the way across instead of just taking the little rounded part off, okay? Um, and then just to elevate it a little bit more, I'm going to fill up the inside because why not? And then you guys look how cute this is. I'm gonna take some cinnamon sticks, which by the way, they are reusable. You can use them again, just FYI. And I'm gonna make a little stem, a little pumpkin stem, if you will. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of powdered sugar because if we're talking about elevating, I mean, it doesn't get much cuter than that. I'll even put a little bit of cinnamon again, cause why not? And look at that, you guys. It's just like a normal, I wouldn't say cake mix cause it's from scratch. Look at how cute that is. And again, if you wanna make it really flat, I could push it down. I could use less frosting or I could flatten out, completely flatten out each side, but I kinda like it with a little thing in there. And then look from the top, it looks like a pumpkin. 
Is that not the cutest thing? Now I'll tell you, there is, I know if you guys were all muted, I would hear cheers and, oh, and oh my gosh, that's so cute, but you're not. So I'll say it for you. Ah, um, it is super cute. It's going to be delicious. It probably has less sugar than like the sugary cereals that my kids really want to have for breakfast. So I could even leave out the cream cheese frosting or I could keep it in for a little protein, kind of protein um, and serve that for breakfast. My kids will love that. But I have to tell you, because I only fill these halfway full, I also made some leftover muffins. I added a little chocolate chips. It's not gonna be for breakfast. Don't you guys worry. Clearly my kids got a hold of them, despite the fact mom saying, I've got a class, so don't eat all of them. I probably should have said, don't eat any of them. But as you guys know, just like our normal trick, of course, classic muffin, if you don't already have this, watch for that, that uh, flash sale that we're gonna talk about a little bit more but they come right out, right? They pop right out. And then you guys, if you wanna put a little cream cheese frosting, you can totally do that. If you don't want to, that's totally fine too. Remember, versatility at its finest. Look at that. Should I add a little cinnamon, you guys? Okay. Cinnamon's so cute because you can see it when you put that on top of cream cheese frosting. I mean, I'll put on some powdered sugar too because also adorable. Look at that, you guys. I know, the cutest, cutest, cutest. So remember, talk to the person that invited you today. You will get all those recipes for sure. And don't forget, make, set a calendar, set your calendar and make a plan to be on all of these mega classes from now on because every single time we will cook some tried and true, fabulous and timely dishes that you and your family will love in your kitchen, okay? Um, heading back to you, Teresa. I hope you guys all have a really fabulous night and thanks for joining us. Don't forget to write your name if you haven't already name and the consultant that invited you in the chat box because we'll we will be doing that raffle drawing so you're gonna make sure you're getting on that awesome thank you stephanie i will tell yeah. you guys i made that pumpkin i sprinkled it with a little cinnamon and powdered sugar mix so you know how to do cinnamon yeah. sugar a lot for toast mm. we put cinnamon with the powdered sugar and it looked really ah. pretty and tasted really good. So there's a little tip for you too. And okay. um, I had fun. My boys got into it as well. But I went ahead and made banana bread in the twin tray tonight. And that was a big hit for this afternoon for them after school, which was fun. And then I am going to show you some new products. Um, and before I turn on my screen, I want to show you one of the new items, which is our log mold. And so it's a little bit hard to tell with the shiny side. But if I show you the dull side, you can kind of see how it creates that tapered log in there, which is great. And so I'm going to show you, it fits on the small uh, perforated baking sheet, which I love because we need more of that size, which is great. But then look at what, oh, sorry, <laughs> this beautiful banana bread uh, turned out. So I haven't decorated it. It's just a plain old banana bread with that gorgeous shine to it. And you can see it's got that log look to it. So just think about what you can do this fall with the uh, pumpkin in the log mold, banana, you name it, it's gonna be a good one for that too. So on to our flash sales that we've got going on. So let me share my screen with you so you guys can see, first of all, our new arrivals. So can you guys see that okay? So the new arrivals, this is really fun. This is, you guys saw tonight, you saw the black cake server knife. You saw the, I just showed you the log mold. And then our graduated roll pot we've been so excited for um, has finally arrived. And so you can get these three new items for $99. And if you get them all three separately, it's gonna be 115. So that's a great savings on that. And that new arrivals bundle ends tonight. So make sure that if you're interested in that, that you do not delay, go to your consultant's website um, to order those items or reach out to him or her and they will help you with that order, okay? So then the next item that I wanna share with you is another flash sale that ends tonight. And this was mentioned by, Stephanie, and I gotta find the right place for it. Sorry, everything is hidden. Here we go, keep it classic. Um, this is really amazing, you guys. I love, love, love this special because as we're heading into um, the gift giving season, which I know a lot of people do, uh, this is a really great gift to give somebody who's getting started. And maybe it's, you're gonna do it this holiday season. Maybe you're gonna get ahead of the game with a shower or a wedding gift. Uh, but keep it classic. This is really cool because if you get this classic muffin tray alone, it's going to cost you $66. And for $67, you get the classic muffin tray 
with the medium perforated baking sheet. So you're really paying $1 for that medium perforated baking sheet. And then it gets even sweeter. You can add on the medium bond mat for just $15. So that is an amazing bundle, you guys. Highly recommend scooping this up. Um, as a gift for someone or a treat for yourself. I know for the longest time, I lived with one classic muffin tray. And I would tell you when I needed to make a big batch of cupcakes or muffins and I wanted them all to be this shape or I was freezing something, I really wished I had to. And so uh, a sale came along like this and I said, this is the time I'm going to allow myself to have to. And so I definitely highly recommend looking at that. It does end tonight. So definitely uh, do not delay on that as well. Now, you guys, we've got some great specials all month long. And as we always share with you, there are three ways to get these products, three ways to be an amazing part of our Bond community. And as you guys experience tonight, the best part of our community is our team. And you guys get to experience this every month. This is your first mega class. Um, I want to let you know, we do this every single month. And many of you on here, I see your names and I recognize those names. And I got to say, you guys, you guys, this is the best part of our team. We collaborate together. We figure out these recipes together. We present this class together. And this is what it's about. So whether you are looking for something part-time, full-time, or fun-time, we have a place for you on our team. And I honestly mean that. This is, there are people on our team who are here because they love the products. They use the products regularly. They know that this is the best part of our community. They get the best ideas um, and they can share their own ideas here too. There are many people on our team that are not interested in the business side of it. They're not interested in uh, selling the product, but they are interested in getting a discount for themselves. They also often end up sharing that, uh, the amazing products with their family and friends. And so without even knowing it, they're doing the business. But there are people like myself and like Dana and Lauren um, and Stephanie who love to share this at full time. We love to share this business with others. And so we invite each and every one of you, like I said, part-time, full-time, fun-time, consider joining our team. I'm going to show you what we have. Okay, this might not be the cleanest setup here, but we're gonna hopefully see this. I get this uh, chat box out of the way so that you guys can see this biggest, but these, this is our Bond Business Starter. And so this is really fun. You guys saw so many ways that that large round mold is used in your kitchen. We use it all the time here in our family. The classic muffin tray, you guys already saw what a hit that was. You can get all of these items pictured here. The medium perforated baking sheet, the medium bond mat, the classic muffin tray, the large round mold, the heat resistant spatula, and your very own bond cook apron, um, all for only $99. And I often will say the best part about this is not the sale or the deal that you're getting on the business kit, but at what comes after you join. And that is again, the community and what you're going to get and what you're going to give because of this business. So now we do have five business kits to choose from, but I'm going to tell you on our team, we encourage everyone to join, get the bond business started for only $99. Um, and then from there, you can earn the rest of your items for free because we have a great rewards program for that as well. But I will go ahead and show you because if you're one of those people that just has to have it all, we have a $125 bond business starter as well that adds on the fluted round mold, which is really exciting. Then we have a bond business starter that includes all French pantry, which is really great. And so this is great. If you already have a ton of fluffy pan, you're interested in the business and you really want to dive into this French pantry, this is a great place to start. Um, then we have our 349 bond business starter, which yeah, is a the $99 kit plus the French pantry kit. And then the big shebang, we have the three and the $75 bundle that has everything that we've listed on those other kits um, for 375. So it is a great value, don't get me wrong. And you are more than welcome to purchase that collection if you'd like. However, as I said, we know how to show you Start with a $99 kit and you can earn everything else that you want for free. Promise, that's amazing. So if you're interested in joining, reach out to the consultant that invited you um, tonight and talk to him or her about joining our team and they'll give you some information. We can also stay on at the end for questions if anyone has any questions after the raffle. Okay, if you're not interested in the business but you wanna get a ton of stuff for free, like I'm going to tell you the best way to do that is to host your own cooking class. It's also the best way to discover and explore if you might be interested in the business. So with that, I will say we've got amazing rewards every single month. Okay. And that what changes is this exclusive, which look at this, you guys, 
with a qualifying class, which is going to be $700 in the month of September, you can get, in addition to these other items, you can get the free graduated roll pack, which is an amazing gift. Um, that is at a $700 level. And so at a $700 level, you're getting that free graduated roll pack, plus you're gonna get the choice of three tools, the choice of six food items, the medium baking sheet. And then you can see on our team, we just learned at Bonvention, um, we have many of us that always strive for and our hosts achieve this Bon Elite level, which unlocks the catalog. You can get 20% of your total class sales to spend on whatever you want. It's just a free shopping spree. Is that amazing? And it's not limited, you guys. So if you have a $1,500 cooking class, you get $300 in free shopping plus that free graduated roll pack. Then you'll see this box here that talks about ask how you can earn up three more 50% off items. Well, anyone that has a class and it gets to the minimum level of 400, you get one single item at 50% off. For each friend of yours that books a class at your class, you get an additional 50% off item, up to four items. And when you have those three bookings, you guys, one of those 50% off items can be a collection. That is super exciting. So definitely lots of great rewards to give away. And the best part is you are going to be able to share these amazing products and some amazing recipes with your friends. So all of us are doing virtual and in-person classes. So reach out to your consultant and they can help get something scheduled for you right away. So you can take advantage of these September specials and so can your friends. So let's talk about our first September special called Ready to Roll. This is fantastic, you guys. Um, this includes the graduated roll pack and then you get your choice of the fluted pie mold, the fluted round or the log mold. Now this is great going into pie baking season because the fluted pie mold is amazing. Yes, the fluted round mold you can use for a pie, but I got to tell you, it looks small, but it is the exact size. The fluted pie mold is the one you want for a traditional pie. It's beautiful. Um, the log mold is really fun. You can see this gorgeous pumpkin uh, cake over here that our friend Nessa made. It's amazing. You guys saw my, not my undecorated banana bread, but banana log, I'll say. And so then when you get your choice of the, one of those three items, you also get your choice of either the black or they say the cream colored white. I guess it is cream colored. We've always called it white cakes over nice, black or cream. And so get some great choices. And as always, when you get the ready to roll bundle, you can add on the medium perforated baking sheet for only $30. So that's a great savings. Consider doing that. Um, again, great. If you need additional baking sheets, everyone needs additional baking sheets in the holiday baking season or save it as a gift. And then we've got this too good love, love. Here's the little pumpkin. This is what I was telling you guys about. Um, with the cinnamon and powdered sugar. It's kind of fun. So this is too good to pass up, you guys. This is the twin tray that we showed you tonight with the set of too many spatulas for $70. And this would normally be $84 for those items. So this is great. The set of too many spatulas, we love to use those in our eco chop, which we might be giving one of those away later tonight. So stay tuned. And then serve in style. This is another one. You guys see us a lot of times using these as prep boards. And I happen to have mine out here from when I did my videos. And so you can see, this is my bamboo square serving board, which is great. The set of four pinch bowls. And then um, there's three jar spoons here, but it actually comes with two. And then your mandarin spice jam. So this bundle also makes a great gift in them and it's $45. So definitely consider that. Um, I know I'm not gonna say who because then it might give away a gift, but somebody did tell me that they were thinking about doing something like this with a gift with some um, ideas for charcuterie boards. So that's really fun. And you can add on some extra French pantry items there too, if you choose. So um, I am now going to, it looks like I've got a good question here. So let me get this stop share off. And then we need to do our raffle prizes, which I will tell you, we are, okay, that's a direct message. I'll grab that one later. So we are, um, we need to spin our wheel, but I will tell you that uh, Dana is my assistant in helping me figure out the names that go in the wheel. And I don't have those yet. So Dana, I don't know if you're in a position to spin the wheel yourself or if you're going to pass them or we're just going to uh, I messaged, uh, uh, Facebook message and texted you. Okay, sorry, my phone's on, do not disturb, even though I told you to do that. So let me grab that. I'm gonna dump these into our wheel so we can spin. So what we're gonna tell, do we have any questions while I'm dumping this into the wheel of names to spin you guys? All right, this is gonna be 
Thank All you right. So while time. you're doing that, I know you have a minute. So I'm going to hop on here real fast. So I have a lot of people asking me, um, and I know Teresa kind of went through this already, but okay, we're pushing for this class. We want to have this cooking class, but we also want to have um, lots of free product, right? We want to get a lot of free product for, for having this class, right? When you guys have a class, remember you're the host, hosts get free product, um, along with the bazillion other reasons why you would have a fun cooking class. Well, one thing I want to remind you is when we get to that elite level, and I always like to re-say this and reiterate this because I think it's so important. When we get as your host, right, as you host your class, when we get you to that $1,200 class, which is totally doable, um, then you get to unlock the catalog. Now, what that means is you can shop and get anything you want with that 240, 50, 60, 300, 350, $400, whatever it is in free product. So you can collect the things that are listed on the bond rewards document, which are, you know, the six food items and the three, the three, three tools and the baking sheet and the bond mat and the mold of choice. You can still choose those if you'd like, plus other things, or you can totally go another, uh, another way with things and choose what it is that you would like to have. So I have lots of people that are new hosts because they want to start with those basics. They want to start with a baking sheet and a bond mat and a um, classic muffin tray. And I have a lot of people that host again and again and again, because you guys, if you're new to bond cook, you'll have some lists of things on your wish list that are kind of your basics and your beginners that you want to start with. But I will tell you, once you start using those, you're going to want everything in the catalog. So I have lots of people who say, I'm going to host every single, um, every single quarter. I have people who do it, you know, more than one month in a row because they know oh, this is now my new list of things that I want. And once they get those, oh, but, but I still want these too. So um, having those classes over and over again, being a repeat host and reaching that $1,200 level so you can pick and choose anything you want is definitely, definitely the goal, I think. Um, Dana, Lauren, do you wanna add anything to that while Teresa is finishing up those names? I'm ready. Oh, okay. I can add to it if they want. Okay, okay. You guys ready? So the first thing that we're going to give away tonight is an eco chop because Woo! we showed you the eco chop. And even if you own an eco chop and you win this eco chop, you're going to be happy to have it. I'm going to tell you, encourage you to keep it at home because I love having multiple eco chops, but you could save it for somebody to gift it if you'd like. Share the love, right? So let's see who's going to win this eco chop. We're spinning, spinning, spinning. And. Here we go. I can't even see it backwards. Don Bryan, congratulations. Okay, so if somebody, maybe Dana, you can make a note of who um, Don Bryan is a guest of, that would be great. And then- It's mine. Woohoo! Awesome, awesome. Okay, so then the next winner is going to get the herb blend set that you need for those taco cups, which is fun. So that's gonna be the zesty Mediterranean herb blend and the roasted garlic and chive herb blend. So let's see who wins that little bundle. Spinning, spinning, spinning. I guess I could show you instead of just looking myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, Don Brian won again. So I will tell you, I probably should remove Don Brian. Sorry, Don. We like to just have one winner. So we're gonna share the love and let someone else win the herb blend. So here we go. Let's see who's gonna win this. Heather Rain, you have won before. So I'm gonna tell you, that's a big thank you for being a consistent guest here on our mega classes. We love that. So you guys can play every time and win often. Um, just not twice in the same night, but I would say Dawn, go buy a lottery <laughs> ticket because you know, um, you won big with that eco job. So thank you everyone. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording right now, but I will stay on if anyone has any questions that you want to ask myself or any of our other presenters, you are welcome to do that. So let me go ahead and stop the recording.